models from a flash forge machine off of the build plate. I have the hot plate set to 170. I have the models I want to remove first centered on top of in the middle of the hot plate. And when the build plate's too hot to touch, that's an indicator that the models are ready to come off. You can even see a little bit of melting support. I put them upside down on the surface so that the hot wax doesn't sear to the surface. You can see once they start to go, they all go pretty quickly. Slide the build plate a little bit more onto the hot plate. Here we are post-processing models for the FlashForge 510 machine. We just introduced the models in a silicon colander into the alcohol. We have three heat and magnetic stirrers here. Each have baths of alcohol that are being warmed up to about 38 degrees Celsius, give or take a degree. We have a digital thermometer that's in there reading the temperature of the alcohol for each bath. The models go into the first bath, approximately 20 minutes. Definitely set a timer to make sure that you don't go past that. After 20 minutes, we're gonna go into the second bath to finish off all the support wax. Should be another five minutes in there till all the support wax is gone. And then we'll go into the final rinse bath just for a quick three to five second rinse. All the support wax is now off the models. We'll do a little rinse in the third bath just for a few seconds to remove any alcohol wax slurry that might be on the models and then set to dry ideally you would built a sprue into the model so you can have a handle to hold on to if not you can use a paper clip or a wire hanger to delicately lift up the models lay them down Take note when the models are in the warm alcohol, they're at their most delicate and fragile state. Quick rinse. Set to dry. The other option is you can take this basket out when they're finished. Go in here for a final rinse for a few seconds. And then you can pull it out and then you can manually just pull them out or with a safety clip, pull them out and uh, put them in the basket. Models sit to dry after a minute or two, they're dry, ready to go straight to production. Take note when the models come out, they're beautiful and red. As they start to dry up, you'll notice they start to get a whitish hue to them. That's normal, that's dried IPA, that's drying on top of them. That will not affect casting.